So tell us what is the success rate that you have achieved with regard to these uh, implementation of programs for the minority welfare? The UPA government, UPA one set up a committee to assess the socio educational and economic conditions of the Muslims uh, under Justice Sachar, which the report is popularly known as Sachar Committee Report. Based on the Sachar Committee recommendation, the basic uh, major recommendation of the uh, Sachar Committee is the education backwardness of the minority. Because of the education backwardness, the minorities remain backward in various other uh, socially also backward, economically also because, because they are educationally backward. So the first uh, thrust of the programs which we have, which UPA has envisaged is education. Okay. Now, one of the major problem which we, which we have tackled is provide scholarship to the poor minorities. And though we fix the target of 40 lakhs students in the 11th pipe plan, now by the end, the first year, end of the 12th plan, first we have exceeded giving scholarship to more than a crore of uh, minority students. But the figure is very impressive, one crore, uh, you said. But on the ground level, the ground reality is that many uh, colleges, many students complain that they, don't, they do not receive uh, the scholarship in time. The question is that uh, these scholarship are uh, reaching to them, but sometimes the complaint is it is reaching them late or it, it is because of the different uh, period of admissions in the school in the different country, uh, dif dif in the parts of the country. Sometimes the admission is June, sometimes the admission is July. So there is no uniformity because uh, the for that there is some problem is coming we are looking into it that is but more more or less there is a satisfaction that the, our scholarship program is running uh, satisfactory now we are trying to make we, 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 our next endeavor is to make it demand driven then uh, all over whoever is eligible they will get it so the scholarship pro be it scholarship program or the other welfare programs that you have the monitoring uh, at the ground level is very poor. There is no monitoring uh, of these uh, schemes that, uh, and that, that is the reason probably that it doesn't reach to the people at the grassroots level. That is, we are going to have uh, now an independent mechanism, monitoring mechanism. Yeah. We have got a multi-sectoral development program in the area development program for the minority concentrated district. This is a major program where we have uh, taken up several area development where the minority concentration there. It used to be 90 districts, now we are changing it to blocks. So there will be 771 blocks and uh, covering about 191 districts. Is there any rise in the literacy level uh, you find yes, after the in impl uh, implementation? In of there is a rise in the parameter of every section. Say there is a, a marked improvement in the employment. Yeah. There is a marked improvement in credit flow. I see when the program, this uh, uh, bank credit flow was uh, started, it was somewhere about 7 to 8 percent of the total credit it was reaching to minorities. Yes. Now it has been made mandatory for the bank that 15 percent of the priority sector lending should reach to the minorities. Now we are monitoring it has reached to 15, almost reached 15 percent of the targets. Yes. So nearly 1,76,000 crores has been uh, advanced. In terms of this microcredit and financing, uh, do you think the, the credit limit should be uh, increased no, further or should there be institutions? There, 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 there is no problem as far as the microfinancing or self-help groups are concerned. There is no problem for yeah. the uh, minorities for the about the quantum of the amount. Yeah. For example, in the National Minority Development Finance Corporation, we were giving for a micro credit for each individual, yeah. uh, for a uh, self-help group, 25,000. Now we made it to 50,000. Yeah. And uh, individual entrepreneurial loan, we used to give about 5 lakhs. And we now we have increased to, to 10 lakhs. Okay. So, and then we, uh, we are now giving for education purpose loans on at a very uh, nominal rate. At 3 percent we give education loan. Uh, we used to give maximum of 10 lakhs. Now we have increased to double. We have 20 lakhs. The another big issue was about uh, the uh, 4 percent reservation for the minorities. Uh, so, how far has the UPA uh, taken this? Uh, As a UPA in the UPA two in the 2009 Congress manifesto, we have given assurance to the people, for the particular the minorities, that we are going to uh, provide reservation on the basis of Karnataka, Kerala and Andhra Pradesh. Yeah. 
where our Congress government, state governments have introduced the reservation. The uh, opposition says it's a appeasement, uh, um, you know, uh, policy see, that uh, you see, you're see, planning to the minorities. No, no, the, it, it, it is not. It is not. I see. Then, if, if that is the case, why there is such a gap uh, in the education? Well, see, reservation is a right. If some section of the society has remained backward for various reasons, right. it it has to the, it is the duty of the state to remove that backwardness through article 16 15 4 and 16 4 the the, the, the right is given to the government yeah. to to uh, remove the in social injustice inequality the, any discrimination through the reservation route and it is a fact nobody can deny the fact that the minorities have received have, have been uh, have feel discriminated. Have, they feel discriminated. They feel that the opportunity is missing. And several commissions and several reports have held that now the Sachar committee has gone to the extent of saying the socio-economic condition and the education condition of the Muslims are far, far below the SCST condition. With regard to the uh, modernization of madrasas, what efforts uh, are being taken by your ministry? I see, the, the madrasa modernization program is managed by the Ministry of Human Resource Development because it is an education program. But we are uh, totally associated with it. We would not like to interfere in the functioning of the madrasas or in the uh, madrasa as such. We want that all students who are in madrasa, they also they should not be left out in the modern education. Mm -hmm. They should have computer education, they should have science education. So what we are trying to do is we have a modern, uh, madrasa modernization program. Whichever madrasa wants our help, we assist them. They come forward yes, yes. Now, now, now there is n there is a to uh, uh, demand for uh, most of the madrasas are coming forward and taking this assistance. With regard to the land that uh, Waqf Board controls uh, across uh, the country, and also the allegations about uh, the land encroach, uh, I mean the land which belonging to Waqf is encroached by uh, yes, uh, 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 the politicians, be it uh, uh, bureaucrats. So, how do how does the how does your ministry plan to? take control of this now uh, now that we are amending the work act to make it more stringent where the illegal occupation and then uh, misuse of the work properties okay. and the law the bill is already introduced and the bill is uh, in the uh, rajya sabha now for okay. passing mm -hmm. that will uh, bring lot of control and give the central government, the, the particularly the central work council, power to regulate the work properties all work boards all over the country. It was not there either too. Right. So once the bill passed, the central government will regulate the functioning of the work board and issued direction time to time. Thank you very much, sir. That was uh, Rahman Khan, the minister for uh, minority welfare who has his plans uh, in place, but uh, there are issues, there are uh, certain problems with regard to monitoring, but he does uh, accept uh, this and he uh, plans to uh, correct uh, these problems and implement uh, all the minority uh, welfare schemes successfully so that it benefits, uh, it reaches the beneficiaries. Aisha Khanum, DD News, Bangalore.